Hey folks, Lemonade here, and today we are looking at the company Vancer again. I've done a few videos on their mouse pads, which I really enjoyed, but now we have some god level gaming mice. Let's see how these stack up with the competition, but let's get into it right after this. Small disclaimer, Lethal Gaming Gear did send me these free for review, but that will never change the outcome of any review on this channel. My opinions are my own, and you are seeing this as early as Vancer is. All right, let's knock out the specs real quick, and I'm going to throw those right up here for you folks. Now, before we begin, I just want to get this guy out of the way real quick for a couple reasons. First off, the unboxing experience and specs are all the same as the caster, and luckily the consistency between both in terms of their click feel and quality of the shell is identical. Second, I just did not really like using this thing. Now, I'm not a fan of ergo shapes in general, but I'm always on the hunt to see if I can find one to replace my all-time favorite ergo, the Prime Mini. The main reason I don't use the Prime Mini as much as I would like is because of its heavier weight and heavier feeling switches. And I was hoping the Pollux here would solve some of that, and it kind of did. I mean, the switches are lighter, and it's a lighter mouse in general, but I just do not like this shape. It's just a bit of an awkward, small ergo, as you can obviously see here in comparison. And really, the big negative for me is the side button placement is a lot higher and a little bit more forward positioned on this mouse, so when I'm using it for fingertip, it really kind of makes it unstable in terms of its weight balancing. Anyway, like I said, this one is just not for me. Maybe I can see it as an option for people who use, you know, uh, aggressive claw or if you have smaller hands than I do, but I feel like shapes maybe like Pulsar's V2 Mini or the Prime Mini I just showed you or just other claw shapes in general are a better fit. Now onto the Caster Pro or Gemini. Well, so anyway, Gemini in Vancer's terms means Pro. So uh, over their basic version. So if you see this listed like on Lethal Gaming Gear's site or other sites, what, if it says Pro or Gemini, it's the same thing. Also, the difference in the Pro versus the basic version of both of these mice is $20. And for that, you get a fancy dongle with a screen on it and the ability to enable God Mode. More on that later. Now in the box itself, you actually get quite a lot. And I'll just say it here, for about a hundred bucks, Vancer's mice are definitely worth it. I mean, there's really good value in the specs of the mouse, the build quality, and the goodies in the box. So you get an extra set of PTFE feet, which are actually some of the best I've ever used. They're very smooth with very nice rounding on the edges. I really wouldn't replace these. You can also customize the feet to add a little bit more control with this pad here. You would just add it to the bottom section and that would kind of dial in the control for you. There's also a full set of grip tape in the box, which is again, really high quality. Now, I personally don't think you need to use grip tape as the stock coating on the mouse is actually quite nice. Now the coating itself is not like vaxy level of stickiness, but it's smooth on like razors kind of textured grip. And this gives you just a much better experience than what we see on like Lamzu or Pulsar's mice. Well, like beside the new boards edition that is. Vents are even a throw in an arm sleeve in the box. And yes, this is probably one of the few times you're gonna catch me without my tried and true arm sleeve. Uh, this thing is a bit awkwardly sized at 3XL. So it obviously fits me a bit loose. Um, nice design though, because it only covers your forearm area, so it's uh, kind of unique in that respect, but hopefully they can just size these down in the future, and I think it'd actually be a really nice addition, because it's, uh, like the material is really comfortable. And of course we have the cable and dongle. Now, quick note on the basic version of these mice, you have a USB receiver right here, you can actually remove this, but the Pro version has that built into it. So if you buy this, um, don't freak out. That's just how it comes. There is no like additional USB receiver that you have to remove. Now, one sour point on the cable here, it's actually fairly proprietary as you can see. It's USB-C of course, but it has these little fins on the side that kind of glide in to the 
front of the mouse right there. Now I've tried a few other USB-C cables that I normally use like Razer and Lamzus, but they just won't fit in this super narrow opening. So that's a damn shame. Okay, so now the dongle itself, it displays what you see here and nothing more. So you have your DPI, your polling rate and the battery life. Battery life is in increments of 25%. Maybe they can update that down the road to be a bit more granular, but honestly, it's fine as is. Overall, the display is a cool addition, even though it doesn't do too much. Just a kind of peace of mind. You can quickly glance over to make sure you're on the right options. With that said, I do hope future versions of this thing maybe get refined because it's a bit clunky and big on the desk in comparison to other dongles by other companies. I'm going to give Avancer some big credit here because this whole idea in the subsequent God mode, it did require a custom MCU solution to be implemented in the Gemini or Pro series mice. They're not using a standard Compex or Nordic solution. So that does take some balls, honestly, for a fairly new company. So kudos. Okay, but let's talk about the God mode. I've said God mode several times, so let's get into it a little bit and the overall performance of the mouse in general. Now out of the box, the mouse works really well. I had zero issues using it in the standard firmware and everything just worked flawlessly. Now the next few photos that you're gonna see on screen here are the standard mode versus God mode using mouse tester to grab the sensor stability, update time and frequency stability. And as you can see, it's pretty identical. I mean, God mode may be bested standard mode here and there, the spreads are tighter and slightly cleaner, but not by much. But in game, well, yeah, well, they also felt the same. I mean, I tested this briefly in Battlefield and more so in Overwatch as those are my main games. And I really honestly could feel zero differences between the two modes. This almost felt like Vaxi's competition mode all over again. But at least with that, it kind of felt a little smoother in those longer tracking moments. Now, don't get me wrong. God mode didn't feel bad. It just really didn't do anything. Well, besides eat away at my battery life. Which begs the question, if it uses so much more battery, yet the difference isn't something I can feel nor measure to display on graphs, what is it even doing? Okay, so in Vancer's defense, I wanna start off with saying that English um, isn't their primary language, so a lot of what they're trying to convey on social media is probably difficult for them, so I'm not gonna hold that against them. But they did attempt to give kind of a lengthy description the other day on Twitter, as to what God mode it was doing. And here is this kind of long thread. I'll show you some screenshots. Now they compared it to, you know, full speed mode in a car and how the God mode boosts the mouse performance by 20 or 50%. And again, I'm not really sure what is getting boosted, but they don't describe it too well either. Now Vancer's team is heavy into CSGO. I guess that's their favorite game. And all the examples that they talk about are specific to Counter-Strike. Now, I don't play CS and me jumping into test this mouse really wouldn't make a lot of sense because I don't have a baseline for that game. I don't have any hours clocked in CS. I mean, yeah, I had like 10 years ago, but I don't really know how certain guns should feel and I wouldn't really know what to look for before and after God Mode. So maybe there is some difference in CSGO. And it seems that Vancer are looking to expand on this. They're talking about a rifle specific version of God Mode, one for sniper rifles as well, and then also like game specific God Modes. You know, they speak a lot about gun ballistics feeling different between various mice. And that really just leaves me with the impression that God Mode is underbaked. If it isn't compatible with certain guns, or even other games, that's not something I'd really say is a selling feature, at least at this time, especially for how it eats away at battery life. Now, I just want to make this clear, and I threw my HSK on the table for whatever reason. When companies like Vaxi over here, and obviously Vancer now and others will probably follow suit, when they're talking about putting these high performance modes into mice, I really want to start seeing data that is measurable and detailed examples of in-game scenarios of what's happening. Otherwise, it just seems like a lot of marketing huff and placebo. Like if we're selling this to gamers and average people, um, which there are majority of buyers, and even a lot of reviewers are confused about like what this stuff is actually doing, like please companies just make this a little clearer for us to understand. I'm not saying you're lying, but I mean, without any like 
data or facts or like video proof of things happening, it's kind of like hard to tell other people that that's exciting. Now, hopefully, Vancer, if you're watching, you can expand on the God mode and give us better details. Okay, back to the mouse itself. Now, it uses TTC gold switches and a gold encoder and the scroll wheel. Everything is tensioned really well, not too heavy or not too light. Side buttons uh, feel really crispy. The switches themselves aren't my personal favorites. You know, I like Kales in my X2 and Avaxi's Juanos a little bit better. I can do a quick sound comparison for you now. Uh, up over here, you have a standard DPI button, and at the bottom of the mouse, you have this little heart-shaped button to change your polling rate. By the way, you can see that the hearts and the diamonds, it's kind of their character advancer, like they're like into cards. Like you can see their joker pad with him holding a poker card. It's just kind of the theme of the brand. The software itself, as you can see, is lightweight and it's easy to navigate with all the settings you would want to expect, like disabling motion sync if you want to and lowering your debounce time are all available to you. Okay, so in terms of the shape, this is very much a Final Mouse medium inspired or kind of a smaller FK style shape, essentially. Now I have a final mouse in small, but just so you can kind of get an idea. It's a very versatile shape for most grips. I would say most specifically um, a kind of relaxed uh, claw or fingertip is gonna feel the best for this. Aggressive claw can work for this, um, but maybe you would wanna put some grip tape on the sides because these sides are fairly flat. And in terms of palm grip, uh, I would say you should probably get hands that are smaller than mine, which are 19 and a half by 10 centimeters. Now, personally speaking, this is a shape that felt really great for me. I mean, it's essentially a smaller version of this, but since I have the final mouse and small, I'd, I'd rather just use this for fingertip. But for people who hate final mouse's pricing and their availability and their whole marketing style, honestly, this is a fantastic choice. And the whole God mode thing aside, you really are going to be happy with knowing you got your money's worth here with everything that comes with it in the box, the fit and finish, and the specs. And on that note, all my socials are down below along with affiliate links for the brands that I trust and use on a daily basis. Use code LEMONADE for any peripherals to save a few bucks or code UPGRADE LEMONADE to sign up with our channel partner Surfshark to get an extra three months free. If you had a good time with me today, likes and subs are always appreciated. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts were about this mouse. But until the next Fresh Squeeze video, stay thirsty, folks.